Hey, greetings everyone out there. Rod here. Today we're going to be painting us up another miniature. This time it is the werewolf from Reaper Bones. I got this guy last year and I've just been sitting on it waiting for a time to do it. Figured, hey, you know what? Halloween's a good time to paint us up a werewolf. We're going to be, of course, painting this with the uh, Army Painter Dungeons and Dragons paints, which I happen to have. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by Reaper or anybody like that. Um, it just happens to be what I have and what I use. So let's get down to it. Here's a list of all the colors that I used. I'll also have them posted down in the description area. Here is the world I painted the night before so I can see what it's like. And then here is the unfinished miniature we're going to be doing right now. I based with the uh, cobalt red because it is a dark reddish brown color and it looks really good. Then I uh, also went over the uh, hairy areas with the abyssal black. Honestly, yeah, some people would call this finished, but not me. You know, I want to add a little more detail and flavor to it. So I'm going to go over the uh, muscle area with the Albert Brown. Like these across the ribs here, across the legs, the arms, a little bit on the head. Just to give it a nice little pop on that muscle. And off camera, I was wiping on a uh, paper towel and I'd get the excess paint off of the brush. Had to let my dogs out, so I forgot to start the camera back up. Uh, here I'm going over the uh, ears and other uh, primary highlight areas with the bugbear brown. And now I'm starting with the Minotaur hide, which is a lighter shade of the brown. looks pretty good I think. Now we're just gonna go a little bit further with it. Paint the tongue with glistening blood and I'm hitting the inside of the mouth with the uh, purple worm. I went over the nails and the teeth with a mixture of the skeletal bone and the waffle white just to bring the tone up a little bit. Now I'm using the Fire New Orange for the eyes. When that dries up, it looks really good. There's always one eye that's easier to apply than the other. <laughs> it's on all miniatures, not just this one. Then I went over and you know touched it up with the uh, Minotaur hide just to get rid of my mistake there. Now I'm dotting the eye with the uh, Cambian Red. This one over here, just had to get that, just that right angle because it's pretty tough to hit. Now I'm going over the base with Dungeon Stone. And then I'm going to be touching the rocks with the uh, Bugbear Brown and the Minotaur Hide. Then I went around the base rim with the abyssal black. I left that little bit of black overlap there just to give it a more of a deeper shadow for an angle there. I also did a wash with the brown wash and the flesh wash 
There you go, guys. The Werewolf from Reaper Bones painted what the Army Dungeons & Dragon paints. So, tell me down there in the comments what you thought of this video. Hey, and if you painted it along with me, go ahead and post a picture below the video on the Facebook page for Thaco's Cave. So, till next time we meet, guys, you have a great game. Now, grab that D8 and roll your damage.